and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDO at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. Today, I'm going to be going over the best budget piece under 50k. So, I did make a budget piece video. And you guys were, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do an actual budget with it. So I have the regular budget piece video on the channel if you want to check that out. But now I'm going to be making one that's more oriented for people below 50k. So some players are still on there, obviously, because some players that I had on there were already under 50k. And then I added some guys who weren't under 50k. Oh, uh, no, I took off guys who weren't under 50k. And I added some other guys in there. So this is more like for real budget. So the other one was more like a budget. The other one was more based within 100k. I feel like anything under 100k is very budgety. This one's like very budget for guys who are working on like 300k. You know, they just build an entire team or like you only got like 20, 30k, 50k. Anywhere between this, this is like complete, completely under 50k. I don't know when you'll be seeing this because it's going to be posted the week I'm gone on vacation. So it all really depends. I can't really justify what's going to be on. What day is going to be on for you guys. But you'll know. You'll, if you're watching this, you probably know at this point. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's keep growing out to 20K. We should be at about, like, I don't know, 7.5 by now. Hopefully, we can keep growing. Let's keep getting to 20K as quickly as possible. The next big milestone. Comment down below if you guys have any other additions to the budget piece in the 50K list. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 250 likes this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. Now, let's start the list. So. Coming in at number 10. Now, this isn't really in any order, guys. I mean, I just say them I and mean, I just pick 10 players, so it sounds like that, but there's not really any order to this. Sometimes there is, but this one, not so much. It's under 50K. We're kind of just fitting in the best players I think you should have. So, coming in at number one is going to be, oh, number 10, is Daniel Hunter. You can find him consistently below 50. I know he's like exactly 50K, but you can consistently find him below. Daniel Hunter is a solid choice, and I was thinking about it. On a budget team, you need some block shedding, you need some finesse move and play rec, but you also need speed because, again, the thing about budget teams is that you guys, they're already underrated. Well, not underrated as in, like, they're better than they, sh they say they are. It's more like these cards are already, like, below the ratings of the teams you're going to be playing, so you definitely need to have speed to keep up with players. And if you have too low of speed to end, right now with stretch and everything, you're going to be really screwed. And especially, even if you get passed on a scrimmage with you, they, they don't shed quick enough because they're budget players. So if they have slow speed and uh, lower finesse move and block shed, they're not going to be able to get back there. At least, even by the time Daniel Hunter gets uh, shedded, he still has enough speed to still get to the quarterback and still chase him down, even with the skate artist. So, I think Daniel Hunter is definitely a solid number 10 choice. Now, the next guy, he's made it on the list already, but he does fall under the 50K range. So, he does get to stay on the list. And that is, I don't know how to say his exact name. So, let me read it first before I say it. Jaquiski Tart, 46K, falls right in range. Strong safety for the San Francisco 49ers. One of the best defenses this year. 88 speed, 89 excel. 89 play rec, 85 pursuit, 84 zone, and 89 hit power. This card as a whole can hit like a truck, can play great zone for a budget team. Remember, for the for what you're buying him for, great speed, great play rec, great excel. Put lockdown on him, put anything you want on him. He's going to get above 80 man, going to get a decently high zone, going to get good excel, good play rec, good speed. He can do it all. He's like the jack of all trades. Not great at anything, but good at everything. That's kind of why I like that card. Next, another guy that's been consistently below 50K, and I'm happy he is because I think he's a great addition to any budget squad at the end spot and that's going to be aaron donald 39k falls right right in the range of what you need even a little bit cheaper than 50k just all around like i don't think i gotta talk about it anymore put the right chems and put the right chems in him. you can even power him up on a budget team because he is power upable so this card powered up and chemmed up can easily get above 90 power move close 90 block shed above 90 play rack above 90 strength He's super strong, he can play rec, he can block shed, he can stop the run, he can pass rush, and he has future potential if you keep upgrading your budget team. You can always use your power pass to get the next one. Plenty of potential with that card. So that's another thing with the budget team. You wanna be efficient with the coins, and nothing's more efficient than having a card that can be powered up. You can use a power pass on to save you some coins, especially considering he's not too expensive. Next one's going to be Khalil Mack. Falls again right in the 50K range. He should be somewhere here, 40K, perfect. He can do it all again. He's, like, he's basically Aaron Donald. A little bit more athletic. Not as great as a um, front stuffer, but a little more athletic. But he's a left side linebacker. So, still decent athleticism off the edge. Great, good tackle for a budget team. Great play rec. Great power move. Decent block shed. Decent strength. Decent tackle. And he can be powered up. And again, he does have a kickoff card that you can power pass. So, talk about efficiency once again with those two. Next one is going to be a guy that did stay on the list as well. That's Jair Alexander. 46k for him the 50k is a little bit high usually you find him for like 38 to 45k depending this card's a beast i love this jerry alexander 89 speed 89 excel 90 agility that's huge agility speed and excel is huge because if you, if it, it doesn't matter how good your zone of man is and your press is if you have no speed no excel no agility like one of those veteran cards 
you can only stay locked onto someone if you can keep up with them. So like if you can't keep up with them or follow their routes, what's the point of having good coverage stats? Because you're not going to be able to cover them because you're not on them. So going to be really good athletic. Great press, by the way. So if you put lockdown on them and you max out lockdown on them and you have like John Madden, uh, Pasty or anything like that, he will get above 90 press. You're going to be able to lock people up at the line while keeping up with them speed wise. And your man with lockdown is going to get like an 88 as well. So I think this Jai Alexander is a great option at cornerback. He definitely stays on the list because he's a solid, solid cornerback. Next, we got a lineman. I haven't put lineman on here yet. I was thinking about it. I definitely need to add some more linemen here because I'm really, you need a lineman on the budget team. Now, Andrew Whitworth falls within the 50K range. Just as, members are always fill these guys out, by the way, more than I'm doing because you'll probably find a better price. Andrew Whitworth can kind of do it all. Great strength, 87 strength, 88 awareness, 88 pass block, 86 pass block power, 89 pass block finesse, 84 run block, 82 run block power, 85 run block finesse. Typically, linemen that have good pass blocking don't have good run blocking. And especially budgety linemen that have good pass blocking typically have no good run blocking at all. So as a whole, he can do pretty much everything. Great pass blocking, which is what you want on a budget team first. I think on a budget team, you want the pass blocking first because you're going to get rushed very heavily. Knowing that pe people know you have a budget team, they know that your team's not as good as theirs. They're going to want to be pad. They're going to be blitzing you all game. So you definitely want to lock up the pass block because we can't pass. First off, your run game is not going to be super strong just because you're not going to have the greatest players against other people. But even if you're good at passing, if you can't pass block, you're never going to have to. Like, this year is already the year of the pass rush. So... If you have no good pass blockers, you're just gonna get destroyed. They're gonna they're gonna blitz you instantly. Get right past line of scrimmage. So if you have at least a decent pass blocker to give you some time, and they start respecting your pass game, they can run a little bit more. But it's, if they can destroy your pass all game, and they can just blitz you, they're also gonna stop your run. It's just it, there's no getting. They're gonna be in a hole. So you definitely need to pick up some good bub, some good pass blockers, and some good run by. He could do a little bit of both. That's the beauty of him. You're not sacrificing your running on the left side with him, especially on a budget team. That's gonna be pretty much what you get for most players, anyways. Next is John Ross, who's been staying on this list for quite a while. Redux John Ross, 33K, still a great price. 94 speed, 85 jumping, 81 catching. All that matters here is the 84 deep route running, 94 speed, and the 81 catching. That's all that really matters here. And his acceleration is 92. And he actually has a good juke and spin. He has 86 spin, 94 juke move. If you're really feeling ballsy on this guy, you can put zone run on him. If you, uh, you can put zone run on him, and you could probably get him to like a 97, 96 juke move. If you have John Madden rushing, if you have John Madden rushing on your team and you have zone run on him, you could probably get him to like a 98 juke move. Gonna be one of the best jukers in Madden as well as having that speed that's the beauty of him he's, he's he's not like a guy that you throw like post routes to or slant convert uh slants contested you don't throw jump balls to him you get him in space and you have him run down the field pretty much it but he's gonna get the job done for you guys i'm telling you he's gonna be a specialist for your team he can as well he can kick a turn as well which is huge next on the list is going to be Philip Lindsay, a guy that just made the list as a new version of him, which is his 49K Team of the Week halfback card. Great halfback, to be honest. 90 speed, 87 excel, 87 agility, 89 carrying, 85 looseness. So what I like about him is that he can carry now. He puts zone run and everything on him. He's going to have above 90 carrying. He's going to have above 90 speed, and you can power him up, so you can get him a little bit higher, and you can even get him to a 91 speed, which is a great option. Going to be a great budget, bay, uh, great budget back in general. Next, a new guy that I just added because it's under 50K, and I feel like you need maybe one more pass rush on this list. We do have about two, we have a, we have a few pass rushers. But that's because it's important. I know you guys need a preference. So this guy isn't exactly the athletic build, but he can do a lot of other things. 33K Calais Campbell. The speed and excel is not great, right? You can move him to defensive tackle though. He's at 86 strike, which is good strength. 87 tackle, great tackle. 89 play rec, great play rec, and 88 block shit. So the other guys that I gave you didn't get the block shit threshold, so they were never going to be the best run stuffers, which is a big part of this game. So that's why I gave you the Calais Campbell option. If you do put pass rush on him or run stuff on him, if you put run stuff on him, I believe you can get his block shit up too, which will make him a 90 plus block shedder, which means that he will be a threshold block shedder. You can also power him up as well. Or you have John Madden uh, Rush D. A lot of things you can do, which will get his block shut up, which is great because that means you will be a great run stuffer, which is why you can also put him at defensive tackle if you want to and have his block shut at defensive tackle because he's a bit on the slower side. Now, last on this list is the, probably, he probably is the number one guy on this list. It used to be Taysom Hill, but Taysom Hill is too expensive. I'd take him off this list. That's going to be Matt Burita. Matt Burita, Series Redux, 40K, great value. 92 speed, 90 excel, 87 agility, 86 carrying. So the trade-off between him and, him and Lindsay is that Lindsay can be powered up and get one speed below. But for the price itself, you do get less carrying, but you get more speed. So it's kind of like a trade-off. You rather have plus two speed or plus three carrying. That's pretty much the difference between them. So I think I'd probably take the speed on a budget team. Although if you do power up, Lindsay's kind of the best of both worlds. You pretty much be at the same speed and you have way better carrying and way better looseness and better agility. So Lindsay's the better overall back if you power him up probably but speed just pure speed burrito beats and most players for the the best budget speed back under 50k that's personally that's pretty much it for the video guys
hope you guys did enjoy hope this has helped you guys out let me know if you guys like this video if not i'll go back to doing the regular type budget videos which is all my budget players under 100k for the most part but i think guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell boys come join the family thank you guys so much for watching comment down below let's get this video to 200 likes i'm out see you in the next video peace